Hi, this is Amir with the US penny stock highlights for Wednesday, the 29th of July. Starting off with a recent uh, stock uh, repeat, uh, Arlo Technologies uh, gapped up higher today. Uh, we broke that uh, line of resistance to 320. Above that, we were looking for the top of the channel as high as uh, $6 from last August. And uh, the view at the moment is that while we're above that little double peak uh, from earlier this month at uh, 390. Uh, looking for that $6 level over the next few weeks. A uh, new name uh, in the form of uh, this uh, stock, which um, is relatively obscure, Community Health Systems. Uh, interesting that we've had both a trend line break, which came first uh, a week or so ago, uh, versus the, uh, let's say, 380 level, uh, and then the neckline resistance around $4, uh, let's call it $4.20. While above 420 in the neckline, looking for the uh, top of the channel from uh, this time last year, up to $6.20 uh, over the next few weeks. And um, the power behind the latest gap higher, really, that uh, uh, U-shaped bull flag or fish hook type uh, flag uh, that we had uh, over the last few days. So looking pretty strong there, even though it's a rather spiky stock there at Community Health. Uh, next stock, I don't think I've uh, looked at before, but uh, the memory is fading with age, so uh, you never know. Eagle Bulk um, Shipping. Uh, here we've got a uh, beautiful crawler on, along the rising 50-day uh, moving average over the last few weeks, and then the, finally the uh, shares pop higher. Uh, neckline support there at $2.30, so end of day close today above that would be uh, much appreciated. If you're cautious on the shares, you'd wait for that line of resistance from June at $2.50 to be broken on an end-of-day closed basis, but above $2.50, we're looking at $3.50 at the top of the rising trend channel from March on Eagle Bulk. Shipping in terms of the stop loss, really either back below the 50-day uh, uh, line at uh, $2.20, or if you can risk it down to $2 at the floor of the uh, rising March trend channel. Uh, next stock uh, is one that I certainly haven't heard of before, uh, but it's uh, flagged on the system today, Genetic Technologies, had that massive spike, which is reminiscent of what we'll be seeing at uh, Kodak uh, at uh, the uh, middle of the month and uh, pull back since then. Uh, bottom of the flag there at $3.75, you might have to allow a bit more wiggle room because uh, t uh, the market tend to go for stops underneath that. So let's just say above three fifty, dollars uh, we're looking for the upside to continue and looking for a top of January trend channel target up to $6.20 while we hold above. Uh, 350 time frame on that uh, as soon as the end of next month. Uh, next stock is actually a requested stock. I think the first one I've had in the last uh, few weeks of um, uh, doing this, and I'll try and look at the uh, the US version rather than the uh, the UK version. I think that will help uh, Loop Industries. Uh, here we've got an interesting situation: rising trend channel from March, as we have on many many stocks. Uh, for the channel around the $9 level, so that's uh, the notional stop loss at the moment. Uh, there's the 50 and 200 day moving averages there at $9.25. Uh, uh, if you're cautious on the stock, maybe wait for $10.50 to break. That's the line of resistance from October. Above uh, $10.50, though, either way, we're looking for the top of the channel at $12, which is obviously the main uh, post October resistance on the daily chart. Hopefully, hit that $12 as soon as the end of next month. Uh, another uh, stock, which is a uh, one that we've looked at uh, here quite recently, is uh, Lightpath Technology. Uh, here, it's uh, business as usual in terms of the progress. So we broke that uh, last resistance line there around, let's say, call it three dollars twenty, and it progressed uh, quite nicely over the last few sessions. Top of the channel there from February up to four dollars seventy-five, and that could be hit as soon as uh, the end of next month or even before that, uh, given the current rate of progress. Uh, if you're looking for a stop loss, probably that uh, neckline resistance there at $3.50, the best or safest boat, maybe just below that uh, at the moment in the search for $4.75. Uh, next stock is uh, Kodak, which uh, I looked at yesterday. I think the up, the, at the time of the update, the shares were at um, $8.14. Uh, the view then was that we needed to stay above uh, around, uh, I suppose, $7.50 to $8 uh, to uh, justify uh, remaining in the bull tack. Uh, initial target was $12.00. Uh, best case scenario target then was uh, $20. High today so far is uh, $60. And uh, what will be interesting to see now is whether we can get a close above $30. $30 is the old 2014, uh, the last uh, 2014 resistance on the way down for the shares. So above $30, still looking for the upside uh, and a partial or even a full retest of 
the uh, peak at $60, but obviously uh, it would be understandable that most people just said uh, thank you very much for the cash and uh, good night. Uh, next stock, a new one for uh, this uh, particular uh, um, sweep, um, Nuvera Environmental, sort of rather um, delicate charts as compared to uh, uh, Kodak and a rather illiquid uh, situation, uh, situation as well. But we've broken that line of resistance from uh, the middle of June and the 50-day moving average at $1.90, a mob or above that on an end-of-day end close basis. Looking for the shares to eventually uh, head up to the top of that rising trend channel from February as high as $4. Initial target there, $2.50, which is the 200-day moving average. And uh, hopefully that will be seen over the next week or two. Big target there, maybe going into September at $4. Just a couple of situations to go now. Uh, this one is a new one, uh, PRGX Global. Here you can see the gap to the upside uh, through $5 and through neckline resistance, that line of resistance from January. Bobber above that, looking for the top of the trend channel from December, heading as high as $7.75. Uh, uh, that could be here as soon as the end of uh, September. And uh, basically the, the upside value buy will hold above uh, the $5 area uh, over the near term. So reasonable risk reward on that situation. Uh, final stock of the day is a new E as well, um, Expressa Group. And uh, here you can see that uh, uh, we've broken that line of resistance uh, from the middle of June and uh, also uh, uh, bounced off the floor of the rising trend channel from uh, the end of last year. Uh, if you're looking for confirmation on uh, the upside argument, we've got one, which is the uh, break of that uh, uh, June resistance line at $3.40. The next one would be an end of day close about $3.90 in the rising. 50-day moving average, uh, end of day close of that would be a, 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 an extra buy signal in its own right, so to speak. Uh, the target here, obviously, a retest of uh, initial June resistance and the top of the channel uh, heading towards $9 or even $10 as a best-case scenario over the next six to eight weeks. Stop loss, uh, probably at this stage, uh, the safest thing is back below uh, the 200-day line at $2.60 if you can afford it. Otherwise, uh, sub $2.80. Uh, would probably have to be where you go for. And that's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.